What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp document creation tutorial for you. What that means is in today's video we're going to talk about how to create a deck diagram where you can show the different framing pieces and other things like that inside of SketchUp and Layout. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So I do want to note, if you want to learn more about SketchUp and Layout, you can check out my course for the SketchUp Essentials for Architecture, where we talk about creating construction documents um, from models inside of Layout. And so in today's video, we're going to talk through how we can create a deck diagram that kind of shows the different parts and pieces, um, kind of with like a cut through, um, like you might see in like a framing magazine or something like that. So they're going to look something like this, but let's go ahead and let's get started. So there's a few things you need to consider when you're doing this. So the first thing is what kind of materials do you want to show in your diagram? So for example, right now I've modeled all my deck boards as components, right? But if I was to come through and I was to model this out with something like a wood texture, so something like this, and then zoom back out. I mean, this looks okay, but notice how what you're getting is you're getting a lot of different tiling of this texture because it's just being repeated over and over again. For something like a diagram, you're probably gonna be better off just using colors. All right, so what I wanna do instead is instead of using an image texture, I just wanna use colors in here. You could also use an image texture and then go into your styles and turn off the texture images so that things are shaded. But I wanna go ahead and add some custom colors in here. And so the way that you would do that is I've already got some colors pre-made, but let's say you wanted to create a completely custom color in here. What I would do is I would come in and I would click on this button right here to create a new material and I would label this usually I like to label these with my initials um, just so they all get grouped together over inside of this window but I would just call this something like lighter brown something like that and what you can do is you can use the color picker here in order to pick the color that you want to use so let's say we wanted to do something like this which is more of a yellowish color but that's okay we can go ahead and click on okay and now that's gonna show up in the in model section of my material section. So you can see I have this JG lighter brown. Well then, I could just apply it to my groups. And so in this case, what I'm gonna do is I want my rail, my structural framing, and my wood right here to have a different texture applied to each one of those. So I get a little bit of contrast between the different groups. But then you could just select these materials and just apply them. just like this. So I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to apply that here. I'll apply that to this group right here. And then I'll apply my other material right here. And so what that does is that gives me a nice contrast between my handrail, my wood decking, and my structural framing. You don't have to do it this way. You can do it however you want, but in this case, that's gonna at least give us a visual difference between the different kinds of wood. And so now, what we need to do is we need to set these up as different layers. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna export this to layout in order to create our, um, our diagram view. But before we do that, we need to set some views up. And so the reason for that is let's go ahead and let's create an example. So let's say that we've got a view right here. So let's go to view, animation, add scene, and we'll just make this our only scene. So if I save this right now, and then I send it to layout, so I just go to file, send to layout. And then let's say we were gonna put this on, we'll just call it a letter landscape for our sheet size. So what we need to be able to do is we need to be able to come in here and we need to be able to individually cut out parts and pieces, right? Well, right now we can't really do that because this is only one viewport. So let's say for example that I wanted to clip out some of the wood in here. I couldn't really do that with the clipping masks because let's say I wanted to clip out the wood right here. We're just gonna be really lazy with our shape. So we've got a shape. We've got our image. And if we were to go to edit, create clipping mask, notice what that's gonna do is that's only gonna clip out everything in this viewport, right? And so that's a little bit problematic because we need to be able to get to the individual parts and pieces separately. So what we're gonna do is instead of having a single view like this one in layout, what we're gonna do instead is we need to create a couple different views where the different parts are stacked on top of each other. So. Let's go ahead and we'll leave this viewport as is for right now. 
So what I need to do is I need to go back and I need to create a few different views inside of SketchUp that can be stacked together in layout. And so the way that we're going to do that is we're going to start by finding the camera view that we want. In this case, I'll go ahead and I'll create a view like this. Um, I'll go ahead and hide this model. And then we need to go into our styles and we need to make some quick changes because we don't want this gray background in here. So we're going to go to our styles and we're going to find a style. Maybe we'll go to the shaded style. We'll adjust it so it's got profiles and we'll also go into these settings right here and we'll turn off the model axes. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save this just by clicking the refresh button right here. And so then we can go ahead and we can update this scene. And so what I've done is I've grouped this model so that the different parts and pieces are grouped separately. So I can toggle them on and off like this. Well, now what I want to do is I want to create a view for each one of those. So for example, I need to create a view that just shows my supports down below. So I'm going to take these others and I'm just going to toggle them off. You could also put them on tags if you wanted a little bit more control. I think we'll be okay for right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this scene supports and I'm going to update it. And so for the next one, I'm going to create a scene and I'm going to call this joists. I'll create another scene and we'll call it deck boards and let's just click across to make sure this is saving our visibilities. It looks like it is. Um, so then we'll create a final scene called rails. So now I've got four scenes, right? I've got supports, joists, deck boards, and rails. So that's going to show everything in my model on different scenes. Well, then we want to save this and let's go back into layout. And the first thing I'm going to do is I want to right click on this and I'm going to click on update model reference. What the, that's going to do is that's going to update this viewport with the changes that we've made. So you can see how now this is in here using the supports scene. And so what we want to do is we want to go ahead and go into our layers section in layout. I'm going to click the plus button right here and I'm going to call this supports. We're going to right click on this viewport and we're going to move this onto the layer supports. And so remember inside a layout, these things stack on top of each other. So what I want to do is I want to create another viewport and add the next scene. So in this case, I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a layer. And so what I want to do is I want to create layers for every one of those scenes. So I'm going to have a joist, a deck boards, and a rail. So we're going to do joists, deck boards, rail. And so remember we have a copy of this object on the supports layer. And so what we want to do is we want to create a copy of this viewport by right clicking and clicking on copy. And then we want to click on the joists layer. We want to right click, we want to do an edit, paste to current layer. And so now we have a second viewport on here on the joists layer. And usually what I like to do is I like to lock the supports layer so I'm not accidentally editing that one. But then I'm just going to right click on here and I'm going to change this to my joists scene right here. And so notice how this is a little bit problematic because it's covering up what's on the layer below. Well, we can fix that by going up into our SketchUp model right here and under style, unchecking the box for background. Well, notice how now this viewport is showing the other viewport that's on the lower layer through. So now I have a copy of this that's on the joist layer. Then I want to right click, I want to copy it again, click on the deck boards layer and do an edit, paste to current layer. And so for this next view, what I want to do is I want to right click on it and I'm going to go ahead and lock the joist layer. I want to right click and I want to go down to deck boards. So now I've got a layer for my deck boards right here. And then we want to do that one more time. So right click, copy, click on rail, do an edit, 
paste to current layer. And we'll lock our deck boards layer. And then we'll change this to rails. So now what we have in here is we have multiple different viewports. So we're gonna go ahead and resize this. So I'm just gonna click on this and inside of your camera settings, make sure you've checked the box or preserve scale for resize right here. And so we've got some issues with this being stacked on top of the other view, which we'll talk about a little bit later. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna progressively clip out some of these different layers so that you get that kind of cut through view of your deck. And so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw a shape where I want to clip out the railing. So in this case, I'm gonna tap the A key for the arc tool. I'm just gonna draw an arc right here, like this. And remember that anything you draw over is what you wanna keep. So I wanna draw a shape right here. Then I'm gonna select the shape and I'm gonna select the rail layer and I'm gonna do an edit, create clipping mask. So basically what that's done is that's clipped out everything that isn't inside of the shape. And if I wanted to adjust the shape, I could just double click in here and I can just click and drag this down to adjust the shape. Then I can just do the same thing again, where I select both, and I do an edit, create clipping mask. So that has allowed me to clip out part of my railing right here. And so probably what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this whole thing and I'm gonna lock this layer. So now my rail layer is locked. Well, now what I wanna do is do the same thing for my deck boards. So in this case, let's do something a little simpler and just draw a circle. So we're just gonna draw a circle across here like this. All right, so now we're gonna move down on our deck boards layer. We're gonna do the same thing. So in this case, I'm just gonna keep it simple and I'm gonna draw a circle in here. And so we're gonna take our circle and the shape and do an edit create clipping mask again. And so what that's allowed me to do is that's allowed me to click at, clip out my deck right here. So you can see what the framing looks like. And then let's say you wanna do the same thing again. So I'm gonna lock this. Then I'm gonna to go to my joists layer right here. And I'm just gonna do the same thing again. So I'll just draw a circle We'll just move this down here and we'll select our joist viewport and our circle. We'll do an edit, create clipping mask. And so one other thing that you might do is for example, I don't really like the way that I had to clip this out over here, right? So one thing you might do is you might inside a SketchUp use a section plane in order to cut some of this out. So if I was to come in here, for example, and just double click in this group, I'm gonna go ahead and rotate out of this, but I'm gonna add a section plane over here and I'm actually just going to cut out all of this on the back side. And I wanna make sure that I right click on this and make it an active cut in my outliner. And then I'm gonna update this view right here. But then I can go back into layout. And well, first off, we need to make sure we make our changes. But then when we go back into layout over here, I can go to my file, document setup, and under my references, I can make sure that this is updated. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna click on the button for update in order to get that change in here. Now, what that means is that means that in my view for my rail, I'm gonna turn off these others right here. You can see how this, this uh, railing is cut out based on that section plane. Well, that means that I could come in here and I could extend my clipping mask. So I'm just gonna right click and I'm gonna do a release clipping mask, but I could extend this now by adjusting the shape. So I could move this over here. Extend it out this way, and then turn it back on like this. And then I can just turn my other layers back on right here and I could start adding notes and other things like that. And let's say, for example, that we wanted to create notes. Generally, what I recommend is I recommend creating a layer for all your annotations, like this one, and then putting all of those annotations on their own layer. So in this case, for example, I would make a note, 
We're just going to call this joists. We'll call this beams. Decking, etc. So you can add all of your notes in here. And the cool thing about putting all of these on an annotations layer like this is if you right click on this and click on select entities, you can actually in your text style, come in here and adjust all of these at once. So you don't have to worry about just coming in here and adjusting these one at a time. You can adjust them all at the same time. All right, so that's where I'm gonna end this video. If you wanna learn more about taking your SketchUp models to layout, make sure you check out the SketchUp Essentials for Architecture course, which I will link to in the notes down below. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.